Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Alicia and I own a crochet boutique called Asher Crochet and today is market day. I'm so excited. It's the first spring market of 2024 and I can't wait to take you along. Um, yesterday I set up um, my booth and everything and so it's all ready to go. There's a couple other things that I decided to pack with me like my checkout stand, a chair, um, one of my signs and stuff. And so that's what I still need to update for this morning. I also need to tag a couple of items, um, before the show starts. But other than that, like we're ready to go and I'm so excited to bring you along with me. And, um, my goal for this year with the market vlogs is to really try to not leave you hanging and to make sure that I post these like pretty quickly after the market happens but um last year I found that life got a little crazy being home with um my children and so um yeah it was just really hard to kind of keep up with these market vlogs so I'm going to really try my hardest to keep up with them keep you posted and let you know how this season goes with market prepping so let's head on over to my booth and I can't wait to show you all right, we're here and unloaded. I got my big bag of things to keep me occupied and my coffee. Let's go. Okay, I made a little pouch with my tags and pins and I got my chicks. I tagged my chicks and my little frogs and I forgot to tag this guy and then I was tagged him and I made a couple more of these little Highland cows and I still need to um, add the little hair to them but I can add those to the show like early this morning as things are kind of winding down but here's what the booth is looking like so far. Little Flora with her little moment. Oh I love her so much. The little ducks. And then my checkout stand with a big bag of yarn that I plan on working on things. And all of these guys. And then originally I had this stand turned around on the outside. But I decided to turn it in just so that um, people don't like run into it or knock things down. It's still part of the booth. So we finished day one of the market. This is actually a two-day market, so I'll be back tomorrow. Um, today was actually really good. I did this market in the fall and had some success, but definitely a much better round at this show for the spring event. So I think I'm going to try this event again in the spring next year, but I will not be doing the fall. Um, last year was my first year of trying different markets and seeing which one fit me best. And so um, I know this show in the fall did not fit me the best. Um, so I'll definitely do it again in the spring. Today was really fun. Um, it's kind of hard to tell right now what would be the best seller because almost one of everything sold. And, um, and that kind of makes it a little bit hard. Or if I only sold two of something or if I only made two of something and both of them sold, um, it's kind of a little bit hard to tell if that was a good, like a best seller since I only made two. 
So we will see. Did move some things around for tomorrow so it looks a little bit differently than it did today and I'll show you my booth again in the morning. Today was just was like a really fun day and it's the beginning of spring and so I wasn't expecting like this market to be like bam um, like the best stop selling market ever but it was definitely a good market to get my foot um, started for 2024 and I will say though I got so many compliments so many compliments on my booth and even if people like don't purchase from me just their compliment just means so much to me it made me so happy it validated um me as a maker and it just made my heart so happy hearing that like they thought my booth looked very professional it was well put together um, people said that my work was beautiful and that my prices were really good for the quality of them and so um that was just so neat to hear because I don't get those. I do get those comments often, but when I had the fall show, if you remember, I got some like comparison prices and I came onto my stories in, on Instagram and I had talked about how there's room at the table for everyone with crochet. It's not a um, comparison, but I did get a lot of comparative prices and a lot of kind of snobby remarks. So this fall show at the same event has been definitely more uplifting and positive and I just can't thank the shoppers enough for that. Um, it truly does make handmade business owners feel so special and so happy when we get those kinds of comments and um, man it was just really fun. I also met a really fun maker and her booth was so cute. She shared one with her parents but even still I, I just it was so fun to meet her. Um, and connect with her and so um, I just had a really good time for day one of this market and I can't wait to show you day two I didn't get a lot of filming in because we were super busy about like 10 30 to maybe 12 30 and then it kind of simmered down a little bit and so hopefully tomorrow I can get a little bit more footage of either like me crocheting and um, conversations with customers and then just checking out the booth um, we'll see how that goes I will keep you updated and I will see you tomorrow morning for day two of this market hi guys good morning it is day two of the market I have my iced coffee and I am getting ready to go over I have Mia with me today at my market um, the boys are at the farm with my dad and so um, I changed my booth around yesterday after I left so I'll show you what it looks like when I get there and um, I took a couple things down yesterday I had the my knitted beanies just for inventory to put out but a couple people kind of picked through them, um, but not many interests. So I'm going to go ahead and put those away and save them for the fall. And so I put some other things in that spot anyway. And I took down the three-tiered shelf so that um, I could put the flowers closer to the booth and maybe the money so it gain a little bit more traction. So let me show you what the booth looks like when I get there. And here's to day two. Okay, I made all of these little mini chicken bodies yesterday. I'm going to attach the eyes and the beak since it's a little slow this morning. There's just a few shoppers um, here in this building, but it's still kind of early in the morning. Some days are usually a little slower. Um, but I'm gonna work on these while we kind of wait. currently making a custom order for a hatching chick for a little boy. Alright, finish the little custom order for the little boy with his hatching egg. Okay. There he is. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, all packed up, ready to go. Hi guys, okay, we are back after the market. It's been a couple days. I'm actually recording this in my car because I have two children who are doing soccer this season for spring, and so I'm at one of the soccer practices. Um, my husband just came over and got the two little so that they could go home with him for a little bit instead of being um, in the car for about an hour watching the soccer game. But I wanted to talk about my market and how it went. Um, I think I mentioned before in my other videos that this is not the first time I've done this market um, but it is the first time of doing the market with my own booth because I usually share a booth with my mom and um, I also had talked about in the fall how I just didn't have a very good turnout and it felt really negative a couple times um, because the event is a two-day event so I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that came to my booth if you were local or supported me with your comments and likes and shares um, it was such a total different turnout this time I got a lot of compliments and I just got a lot of good compliments overall and so I wanted to talk with you about numbers though and share what were my best sellers at this market this was my first spring market of 2024 and um, let me open up my notebook um, this was a two-day event. This isn't my overall best total like that I've ever done, but it is the best I've ever sold at this show in particular. So day one, I'm referring to my notebook here. Day one, I overall, the total I collected was $402.38, um, but that was with taxes. So without taxes, my total that I sold of product was $364 um, and then day two of the event just a second Mason's coming back in okay so then for day two of the market um, overall I collected $290.77 with tax but my gross sales of inventory was $265 so that makes my overall total for both days of this market day one and day two my overall total for the market was $693.15 that I collected with tax but my gross total that I sold for inventory was $629 so that was one of my better sales for this particular market um, they have the show in the summer in the fall in the spring um, I won't be doing the summer one I did that last summer and it wasn't a very good market for me and then the fall um, I just didn't like how I felt with the market and um, everything that happened and I also didn't have very good sales for those two days um, those two days in total I made $348 and so I've almost doubled my amount um, this market than I did the fall market so I'll just be doing the spring market next year for this particular event um, let's talk about top sellers now. My top sellers were chickens. I offered the hatching chicks for the first time. I sold six out of six of the hatching chicks. Well, actually, I sold five of the hatching chicks, which is what I originally brought. And then a little boy was um, really upset that I was sold out of the hatching chicks and his little brother got one. So um, luckily I had prepped like all the bodies of the chickens and I was actually working on the top and the bottom of the egg. And so I was almost done with it whenever that little um, situation had popped up. So I've never done like an on the spot order for anyone at my market, but I did do it for this little boy. So with his extra order, I I sold six out of six hatching eggs at the market. Um, I sold one faux fur uh, chicken and one off chicken, one off white chicken at this market in the town that I did it at. The maple chickens don't sell very well for me, but they do sell well at other markets. So it didn't quite bother me that only two of the maple chickens sold because I figured that that would be the case. Um, and then I sold one little baby chick. Um, for five dollars. It was just leftover inventory that I put out. It was random and only one by itself um, Next I sold three of the bitty bunnies um, Or the bitty rivers, I guess you could say from Raven Jade Co um, I sold them each for $24 
For my strawberry turtles were my best sellers. Um, they sold the quickest for $35 each and I only made two of them. Um, the mini bees are always a good seller. I brought seven total to the market and I sold six of them um, for $8 each. And then the farm buddy pals from um, Mama Makes Yarn. Um, both of my mallards sold. Everyone was kind of obsessed with the mallards and I didn't make a ton of mallard items. So I sold two of the mallard um, farm buddies for $14 each. And then I sold one of the cow buddies for $14. The Pocket Highland Cow, I sold three of them for $14 each. I sold all of my Grumpy Frogs. I brought four of them and I sold them for $10 each. I sold only one Snuggler for both days and that was the Mallard Snuggler and I sold it for $40. I sold one of the Flower Bud Pots. I made three but only one sold and I sold it for $32. And then the Bitty Ducks, I made five of these ducks and only one of them sold and it was my most surprised item that didn't sell um so I'm not quite sure if that was because of where I had them or um, maybe they just weren't drawing in as much attention as I thought that they would but I sold one of them for $24 and then I sold various other items I sold um two scrunchies two keychains and I originally had them for $5 each, but I recently um, decreased the price for $4 each and I actually sold more than I usually do at a market. Sometimes I'll usually just sell one of each or none. And so it was kind of nice to see that with the lower price, um, with me lowering the price, I sold a little bit more of those items. So those sold um several of Mia's bracelets sold and we also decreased the price on those so Mia was really excited that her bracelets finally were selling um so overall it was a really good market and we're super excited to do it again next year for the spring and yeah that was the rundown of my market I will try to insert pictures if I can um sometimes that takes a little bit longer with editing but I know that you guys like that so you can visually see what sold how many sold and for what price so I will definitely try to do that for you. Um, if we are not already friends on Instagram, be sure to follow me at Awestruck Crochet. I post there daily with reels and what I'm making um, and sometimes even um, market prep reels. So be sure to follow me if we're not already friends and I will see you in the next video for my next market um, next weekend. Bye guys.